Welcome to When Creativity Knocks All-Star Designers Holiday Series. Robin Beam is going to show you how to make a light-up Christmas ornament. making uh, some mason jar ornaments. But what's great about these ornaments, they're from the 3D die from Sizzix and Eileen Hull, is that they can be an ornament, they can be a votive candle holder, and they can also be a treat container or gift holder. So what we're going to do is, this is one of the large dies, and what you're gonna do is use the big shot from Sizzix, and there's gonna be a separate video on the techniques on how you can do that. But a neat trick with this, what I wanted to do is I wanted it to look like a real jar. So what we're gonna be working with is acetate or clear vinyl, and you can get this at your office supply store. The crazy thing about this is when we're on camera, it looks like I'm working with nothing, but it's here. <laughs> so a neat trick is you want to pre-cut to the size of the dies, the different sections that you're going to be die cutting, because then you're not gonna have extra waste. So what I've done is you're gonna cut two pieces of acetate for the mason jar, and you're gonna also cut two pieces of a silver cardstock for the lid. You're also going to be cutting what would be the, the container, the 3D portion of the mason jar. And the way that that's going to look, I did it in white, it's going to end up looking like this, and then you're going to fold it along the lines like I've shown you here. And then when you fold it up, you're gonna have the mason jar section in the front and then other in the back, and that creates your 3D container. So what we're going to do is, after you've cut these, there's a lot of different ways that you can decorate them. And there's some wonderful products. One of the ways that you can decorate is with the Judikins kite stencils. And these come in a lot of different designs. And so what we've done is we've just taken one of the die cuts from the acetate, and we've laid it on top and we've used the Design Master Tinted. And what's neat about the Tinted spray is that it's translucent, so it's not solid. So for the whole idea of stained glass, you get that look and it's really easy with the design of the stencil. Then there's stars, there's this wave, there's a lot of different chevrons, there's different designs with the kite stencils, so you can get the look that you want. Another way that you can design this is with uh, glass stain from DecoArt. And what this is, is there's a leading, which is like a thicker paint. And so a neat trick to do is you take a coloring page or you go online and there's all different designs for the holidays. And you just size it and print it out on your uh, copier. Or you can take your kids' coloring pages, that works too. And what you're going to do is you're going to outline it. And then there's all these wonderful colors of the rainbow with the glass stain. And all you do is you fill it in. And that's how you get these designs. And once it's dry, it's totally translucent. And so you get some really good looks with that as well. And then the other way that we're gonna design it today, and this is what I'm gonna show, is by using stamps as well as the glass stain. So what we're gonna be using is the DecoArt Americana multi-surface stain paint. And what's neat about the, the satin paint is that it works on a ton of different surfaces and it works beautifully on the acetate. So the way you do that is you can just take a surface, you can take a paper plate, you can take a craft sheet, you just pour a little bit of it out 
and you take a sponge and you want to use some kind of a sponge instead of stamping right into the paint because you don't want it to be all globbed on. That's a technical term. And you're just going to pat it lightly on here. And what's nice is there's no right or wrong. Now you have to remember that the acetate's a very slick surface. So you don't want to just stamp it because it's just going to go flying. You just want to take your hand, press it down lightly, and lift it off. And then you can do as many different size stamps. Judikins has a bunch of different size snowflake stamps, which with the popularity of the movie that we all know, um, Frozen and things like that, snowflakes and snow are so popular and this is, makes for a great project. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna let those dry, which doesn't take long because it's an acrylic paint, then turn it over and you're going to take, in this instance, this is the glass stain in aqua and blue. And again, what's great about this is there's no right or wrong. So you're just going to squeeze this out around the snowflakes. And it doesn't have to, it, they can overlap, you can have it all one color, you can have it different colors. And what this is going to do is it's going to create, again, that stained glass effect but if you go around the snowflakes, that's gonna create another point of light for your votive or your Christmas lights and everything. So you're gonna let that dry. And then what you're going to get is this really neat stained glass effect. So what we're going to do now is, this is so easy to put together. What we have here is I'm gonna work with this one. And I've already taken some red line tape and I like the red line tape because and it comes, there's all different people that have it, is that it's really clear, but it's super sticky. And another little trick is I'll take sometimes like jewelry pliers to get the tape off. And hey, that worked. And so what you're going to do is on both the sides, you're going to take one of the lids so that you have the two sides. All right. Now. We're going to then take the divider part, which makes it 3D, and you fold it. Now, what I've also done with this, and this is another neat trick that you can do, is just say you want the divider to be bigger. What you do is trace one side of the die cut and then move it over and trace the other side. So you're making your own custom die to size. So see, I've made that wider than the one that gets cut out from the Sizzix die. And so what I've done is I've folded it and scored it. And then what I've done, and this is on the packaging, I've taken the red line tape and you're then going to remove the tape. And what you do is, is you're gonna take the one side and glue it down. And then you're gonna take the other side and do the same thing so it makes this sandwich. So what we have here now is that wider divider with one side with the stained glass and the other side is with the sprayed stencil. And you'll see what we did with this is we took some Fluorcraft styrofoam balls and we took one of the little battery operated votives and we've created a votive holder that can also be put on the tree. That creates a lot of neat light. And then what you're gonna do just to hang it is you're gonna take a hole punch and I just go and put two of the tops together, punched it out with a small punch. And another really great use for, they call it gimp or their stretchy tape, and this is from toner, is you just take a length of it, you knot it up. And what another trick is, is that when you're, this because this is stretchy, you wanna pull on the knot real tight so what that does is it stretches it so that when it releases, it locks in place. So it makes for a better knot. And then you just knot it on both sides of the inside and you now have your holder. So with the popularity of mason jars, this is a great project that can be used for so many things to take the fun of mason jars into all your different holiday decorations. I just loved Robin's illuminated mason jar ornaments. Those are super cute, super cute. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, find us on Flickr, and pin us on Pinterest.
And don't forget to sign up on our website to receive our weekly newsletter, and then you're eligible to win one of our weekly prize packages full of products from all of our series sponsors.